All right, welcome back to another Sledgehammer Tide Eyes episode. Today we are going to be doing a Ron Star. So I've already got the shirt flipped inside out, and I've already got the center symmetry flip done. Uh, if you want to see how to do that, there is another uh, video already on my channel. I'll put the link in the description for that. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So after we've done the center center symmetry flip, we're just going to open it up kind of like this. And then we're going to do an airplane fold. Starting from the top, we want that center to be kind of in the center of the front of the shirt. So we're just going to pull up the bottom half. And then flip them over onto each other like that. You just want to make sure that all the folds are lining up on top of each other. All right, that's looking pretty good. So we got our sinew, and I'm just going to go ahead and tie off a slip knot for the beginning of this. Just like we did last time, you kind of want to fold down at pretty much like a, uh, a 90 degree angle across here whenever you fold it down. And one tip that I have learned when doing this fold is if you alternate the sides, so we did the first one folding down this way, we're going to go the opposite way for the other one, and that just kind of helps... Uh, Well, the, uh, it helps with the, the blown out segments. So whenever I did the last one, the top half of the shirt was all nice and crisp lines, but the bottom was all kind of blurred out. This kind of helps that. It'll put, it'll alternate. So it'll be crisp up here and then blurry at the bottom. And then the next one will be blurry at the top and then crisp at the bottom. So it just kind of, kind of helps hide everything. And then one of the other things that I've kind of learned is that if you, wherever you tie the tie is also very impactful as to what design you get out of it. So the last one I did, I just went straight in the middle and that kind of gave it like the star. But if you kind of go off to the edge It'll give you a different design. It almost looks more like a gear, which is what the normal Ron stars are that you see. So this is kind of how you do that. So you see, I've got like one quarter over here and then three quarters of the shirt on that fold over there. And that will kind of give us that design. So that's the front of the shirt of the Ron Star. And the second bit over here, this is gonna be like the shoulders and the back of the shirt. You could either just continue to go all the way over or you could do a scrunch or really whatever you wanna do. Uh, I think I am going to do a bit of a scrunch. So I'm just gonna mess it up. And then I'll just kind of tie it down. And so that is the fold of the Ronstar. Okay, so this is going to be a cold water irrigation. And I'm going to start off using Lime Pop. And I'm also going to be using Seafoam. Kelly Green, all of those are from Dharma. And then I'm gonna be using Pine Barrens from Happy Cat. So this is gonna be a little bit of a St. Patrick's Day shirt. So first off, I'm gonna come in with the Lime Pop. 
and stick that on all of my ties. And then I'm just gonna take my garden sprayer with some, it's room temperature cold ish water and just run this through. All right, and that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. All right, so now we're ready to put some dye on this guy. And I think I'm gonna start with the Pine Barrens in the very center. Actually, no, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna go with Kelly Green in the very center. And I'm just kind of coming up with this on the fly. I don't exactly have a true pattern thought out. I'm just kind of going for it. So then I know I'm gonna to wanna to skip that one. Pine Barrens there. So I'll do this one. For the scrunch section, I'm just kind of gonna go random with it. So I'll put, just put some out. All right, and then my other darker green that I have is the Pine Barrens. So I'm gonna skip a place and have some lighter greens in between this and my Kelly green. Put that there. And around the last one. And again, I'm just gonna come in randomly in the scrunch section. So the next color I'm gonna come in with is the Lime Pop. I'm gonna put that on this inner ring here. And it's okay if it kind of spread into the others. But then I'm gonna put sea foam on those two. So I'm gonna go straight to the edge of this and I'm gonna line that just because the Lime Pop is my lightest green that I have and the Pine Barrens right next to it is the darkest. So contrast, yay. And then just throw it in a few more places. All right, and the last one that I'm gonna be using is the Seafoam Green. And that's gonna go in those last two spaces. All right, now time for the water. Okay. So now that we've got that done, we are gonna flip this guy over and do the same thing. So cut to that. All right, so I got the second layer of die down. Uh, same pattern, uh, randomness. I put a focus a little bit more on the lighter colors just so it can blend and do random things. But I'm going to spray out from underneath because there, there is a lot of dye underneath it and I don't want it to kind of splatter. I forgot to do that on the first run, but it's okay. Okay, good enough. Time for more water. All right, so now we just need our water and we are just going to submerge this guy right in here. So this water is about 130 degrees-ish, 140, somewhere around there. And we're just gonna let this sit for about an hour and then come back. All right, so it's been about an hour. I just used the yardstick here to hold it under while I'm doing that. And I forgot to mention this water is, not only is it hot, it's also mixed with soda ash in it. So that way we can get our colors to set. Uh, you need at least a ratio of about one cup of soda ash per gallon. Uh, I just threw three cups in here because 
If I do that would be overkill and overkill is totally fine. So let's go ahead and pump this out. That's good enough. So this is kind of what we have so far. Looking pretty cool. So let's throw it into the wash and see what comes out. Okay, so here it is out of the dryer. Looking pretty good. Um, so you can see this is kind of more of that gear thing that I was talking about as far as the more typical Ron, design, uh, Ron Star designs that you see out there. Um, also, you can kind of see where like Right here, this line is a little more crisp on the bottom, but on the top, it's a little more fuzzed out. And that reverses every time. So this one is then a little more distinct at the top and then kind of blown out on the bottom. Uh, we did have a, a few of our colors that kind of mixed around a little bit, but honestly, it looks pretty cool. Kind of like a kaleidoscope of a Ron Star almost, uh, especially how the, the bottom set of the uh, the inner ring of the uh, the Pine Barrens didn't really show out like I was hoping, but it's okay. We still got that uh, nice center and kind of like goes out like flower petals. So yeah, I really like it. And then the back turned out pretty cool too. It's almost like a, a bit of like a camo type thing going on. Really woodsy, but I really like it. Some nice colors. I like how the, uh, the sea foam kind of played in with the uh, the Kelly Green. And then that Pine Barrens almost came out like a black, but definitely just a very, very dark green. So yeah, that's what we got. So if you liked it, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment down below if there's something you wanna see in the future. But thanks for sticking around and subscribe if you're not. But for now, Sledgehammer Tie-Dyes, out.